make a video today, uh, just kind of do a tour of my game room. So I've got Shane here. He's gonna do some videos with me every once in a while, like we're working on some reviews and stuff. So uh, just give you a tour of the room. I right, will just start with the door. It's pretty plain. Nothing really on it. We've got some posters. Twilight Princess. Got this sweet God of War 2 poster I got from working at GameStop. It's actually like 3D. Pretty cool. I don't I don't know. I've never seen one, so I know they weren't given out to every GameStop, so it's pretty cool. Uh, of course, over here, this is a glare, but got the Marlin poster, the map, and then the uh, Oblivion. Gonna look to get Skyrim for down there, but I need to get a second copy with the map. We've got the handheld systems, and I mean, all the systems for the most part, other than the new ones I've got, are in the intro video, but we've got the Game Boy, the Pocket, two different colors, this one's kind of dark that see-through purple one pretty cool the Game Boy Advance the SPs down here looking at getting another one like I talked about in the other video just so I can have the charger for it and there's the micro it's got the black front so it's kind of hard to see we got a modded PSP it does the emulators and stuff and then the Game Gear, Mario's down there. I've got two of the coins from Oblivion. Got to step back. This is the TV that I play on. Got the first Xbox I had and the one I got that I was talking about last time. The Genesis One, the Dreamcast Sports Edition. Got some Call of Duty posters up here. I got that Modern Warfare 3. Uh, when it came out, a little bit before the game came out. And we've got just a bunch of posters up on this wall. This is actually a jacket that I got from a friend who worked at GameStop when it came out. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I'm not a fan of the Resident Evil games. Like I know they're good, but it's just not what I'm into. But again, this is something I've never seen before. I'm not sure if it's worth anything. The bully, it's going to be glary, but I don't know if you can see these. Let's see if we can move them. We've got the Mario Kart for the Wii. Shades. Super Mario Galaxy 2 poster. It's my dog, Kona. Just relaxing. We've got the Ottomans. It's got the Mario and Luigi mushroom and stuff got this is something I just pulled out just because I'm a huge fan the strategy guide for Marwin it's ridiculous but I've never read it but I, I bought it with the game it's both used but both really good we got more systems the iPad it's a iPad first gen the PS1 one of my favorite systems it's got the flip up screen Got that uh, a pawn shop for 25 bucks with the screen. Pikachu N64, the Genesis 2 with Light Crusader in it. Love this game. I'm gonna be doing, we're working on it, me and Shane are working on a review of it. Just have to finish it up. Then we've got the broken PS2. It's a bummer. Two PS, two PlayStation 1s. The Intellivision. Atari 2600, Atari 5200. This is my favorite game on the 2600. Turn it around the right way. Yars Revenge. I don't know why, I just love this game. Always just keep it in there. I don't really play that too much. The Xbox 360 that's hooked up. The two games I've been playing most recently. The ones I showed last time. Skyrim and Call of Duty. The systems below, the Nintendo stuff, the, the NES, the SNES, regular N64, 
And we've got the GameCube with the Game Boy Advance player on the bottom, which I actually found that at a game store for 10 bucks. This is pretty cool, pretty cheap. Came with the startup disc, so I hate finding them without those. And then we go to where the games are. I don't know, the lighting's not that great. Might have to put some light in here. I might do that now. Alright, there we go. I just brought a lamp in. Got my super nerdy uh, championship belt. Not a wrestling fan anymore, but I used to be a big one. Found this at a pawn shop for like 150 bucks. They go on online for about 250 So, And then that one I got from working at GameStop for free from a from a store manager. It's pretty cool. Got another PS1. Um, we have a video of breaking this one, but it's not. It's like on an old cell phone, but it's pretty banged up. Comes apart and stuff. We used to have it hanging on the wall, but it broke, so we just thought we'd kill it all the way. Got some in television games. These are just the double boxed ones I got. I got a, a really good deal on those with a couple systems. Uh, not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, but these are the boxed Genesis games. Nothing like too rare or anything, but then up here, this is bad light. Let me see if I can fix it. Got uh, Alundra, Vanguard Bandits, Marvel vs. Capcom, of course the Final Fantasy games. There's a bunch of stacked ones up there. I'm probably going to do like a collections video on a lot of these collections I have. Let me go up. We've got the first rack of uh, N64 games. This is where I keep most of the stuff that's not too rare. Not that there's a lot of rare stuff on the N64, but then there's these ones. It's a horrible shadow. I mean, I've got, you know, a couple different things. Smash Brothers, I love that game. The Mario Parties, Mario Golf, Paper Mario, StarCraft 64. That's a pretty decent one. Conker's Bad Fur Day. Then we just got the mixed games. Like, it starts out with GameCube. Let's see if we can turn this, get the titles. For you, a lot of the Mario stuff. It's the collector's edition of Oblivion, Fable 2. I've got Fable 1 right here from the super uber $80 Fable 3 collector's edition. Goes on to from GameCube to Xbox. There's Marlin, the Game of the Year edition. It's got all the expansion sets in there, so it's pretty cool. Goes on to PS2, we've got Fatal Frame 1 through 3, Ico, or Eco, I don't know how you say it. Champions at Norath, the Champions Games, Marvel vs. Capcom. Got the next gen stuff, I don't really play around with this stuff too much. When the new stuff, I normally play it, beat it, and then sell it or trade it or give it away. Again, the lighting is really bad. See if I can help it out. Just the loose Atari 2600 games. Goes down to the Super Nintendo. See if I can get you a couple of shots of the titles. Again, I'd probably do like a collection video. And we've got the Atari, I mean the Intel box and television games. And then uh that's probably not safe, but Street Fighter for the Super Famicom. And we've got the NES games mixed with some loose Genesis carts. This lighting is just really bad. These are the games I bought the box of Atari 2600 and the NES football. This 
some more random PS2 games. Get a shot of those. And then the rest of the NES. And this is something that I actually really like. It's another perk from working at GameStop. This is like a Bioshock faceplate lanyard and then have like a downloadable theme for the dashboard. These are only given out to store managers at GameStop. I actually had to trade uh, my store manager to get that one because he was like, no, only store managers get it. Uh, and then there's just this wallet that didn't really show when I was over here. I've got the uh, e-reader, which use that a lot on the Animal Crossing. I've actually got an unopened pack of the Animal Crossing. Got that off eBay for really cheap, so, and then like five of the games still in the wrappers. Got kind of the handheld games all in this little shelf. Got the Pokemon. I've got more Pokemon, but my fiance is playing one of them right now. The, I think it's Leaf Green. Then I've got DS games that aren't here. And then these ones are actually pretty cool. This is a uh, boxed gen box, sorry, Game Gear games that I got at a at a thrift store. Uh, they're marked like two or three bucks a piece, but for some reason they sold them to me for a dollar a piece. So I was pretty happy to have them. And then uh, the Atlas collection. Like I said, I'm a pretty big Atlas fan. Got the Ogre Battle for the N64. <laughs> Oh, bless me. I've got, these are from, these are done from a release date. Nocturne, Persona 3, Odin Sphere, Eternal Poison, and we've got the, like I said, I'll do more of, of, of the stuff. I really want to do a PS1 collections video because I really like a lot of the games I've got for it. Got the Ogre Tactics, Potion Gummy. And then a signed tennis player from this awesome guy. Uh, that's about it, but uh, just keep your eye open. Well, like I said, me and Shane are working on some reviews of some games. Uh, you know, collection videos. But thanks for watching. You know, share it with your friends if you liked it. Uh, see you next time. Alright, actually back again because I for totally just forgot that, you know, there's these shelves up here. I uh, just kind of go through. This is a super jacket my brother bought me. Uh, super awesome. Got the tails. I got that at a yard sale. She's like, I don't know, it just looks weird. I'm like, yeah, that's tails from Sonic. And she was all surprised and I knew anything about it. I think she just thought it was some random stuffed animal. Uh, got like a, an award from Xbox Live for winning a competition that they did. Uh, some Spider Man cell art. Sweet Nintendo beanie. It's reversible. It's got the original gamer on the inside. And this is where I just keep all my boxes and just kind of like random video game stuff. So we've got like the Magnavox Odyssey 2, and that's actually in there. It's uh, complete in the box. It's got all the original foam and plastic wrap, got Goku, some Metal Gear Solid, this is actually a big game that I was into, uh, not this game itself, but the, the video games that were from this series, Shadowrun characters, it's uh, right there, if I can point to the right one, Shadowrun, played that for a long time, so I thought these were pretty neat, let's do a game, like a tabletop game, little Master Chief by Mega Bloks, Sega CD for the PC. It's called like Sega Bug. More Shadowrun figures, Master Chief, some anime stuff. There's the guy from Metal Gear Solid, Pokemon, Guitar Hero. There's a Genesis box. It's in really rough shape, but I got it for five bucks with the system. We got some Halo Master Chief still in the box from. I think that was when 3 came out. Uh, the PS3, the Xbox 360, the Wii, the GameCube box with the collector's edition disc. 
and then the boxed PS1. This is actually the one I was talking about for 25 bucks that uh, actually came with the box and the card after. That's my fiance's box for her DS, but just keep it with the rest of the stuff. But okay, now that's it. So thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.